Voyager 1, humanity's most distant explorer, has just encountered something that wasn't supposed to exist, an invisible wall at the edge of the solar system. This barrier isn't made of rock or gas, but of raw magnetic force, pushing back against the probe as if guarding the threshold to a realm we've never entered before. The data crawling back to Earth over 22 hours of radio silence tells of a sudden and dramatic spike in magnetic field strength, plasma densities behaving in ways no instrument has ever recorded, and a cosmic hum that's been playing for billions of years, unheard until now. The discovery has stunned scientists, shattered decades of assumptions about the shape of our cosmic neighborhood, and left us asking a question that might change everything. What exactly have we just stepped into? Join us on this cosmic journey as we explore the Voyager 1 Just Stop the World. Let's find out. It began in late 2020, when Voyager 1's instruments registered an 8 to 10% increase in magnetic field strength, an abrupt sustained jump that persisted through the following years. At first, this seemed impossible. Interstellar space was supposed to be uniform with no such boundaries this far from the sun. Yet the readings were clear. Something was compressing the magnetic field lines around the probe, creating a pressure front like a wave in an ocean. This wasn't a momentary spike caused by solar activity. It was a stable, enduring region, unlike anything predicted by space physics models. Some at NASA speculated it could be the fading ghost of a supernova, an ancient bubble of magnetized plasma drifting through the galaxy for millions of years. Others suggested it might be part of the local interstellar cloud, denser and more structured than we ever imagined. Whatever it was, Voyager had just proven that the space between stars isn't empty. It's textured, layered, and possibly filled with invisible boundaries that have been shaping the galaxy long before our sun was born. The more scientists examined the data, the more they realized this was not just a patch of space. It was a transition zone, a liminal region, neither fully within our solar system's influence nor entirely part of the interstellar medium beyond. Plasma densities were higher, magnetic fields stronger, and the distribution of cosmic rays strangely altered. It was as if Voyager had found a hidden gateway, a place where the forces of our sun and the galaxy beyond intertwine. Comparisons with earlier anomalies Voyager encountered, like the cosmic purgatory of 2011 and the magnetic highway of 2012, suggested this might be the third major boundary region in just over a decade. These discoveries raise unsettling questions. Are all stellar systems surrounded by such complex layers? Or is our sun's boundary uniquely intricate, shaped by ancient events in our galactic neighborhood? And if these regions act like membranes rather than channels, pathways that connect different parts of the galaxy through networks of magnetic tunnels, then came another surprise. In 2021, Voyager's plasma wave instrument picked up something faint, but constant. A low, steady vibration echoing through the interstellar medium. This wasn't a signal from aliens or a passing anomaly. It was the natural hum of deep space itself. For the first time in history, we had an audio fingerprint of the void between stars. The frequency and persistence of this plasma oscillation revealed something unexpected. The interstellar medium isn't silent or still, but alive with subtle waves, pressures, and currents. When Voyager crossed into the magnetic pressure zone, that hum changed, confirming it had entered an entirely new environment. Scientists now believe this hum could be a fundamental property of interstellar space a constant background tone resonating since the birth of the galaxy. It's the sound of space breathing, a sound no human ear can hear directly, but which this tiny spacecraft has captured as it sails into the dark. As if the wall, the gateway, and the hum weren't enough, the new data hinted at something even bigger. 
the magnetic pressure front Voyager encountered might be part of an immense interconnected network, a web of magnetic tunnels and plasma bridges linking our sun to its neighbors across light years. These structures could act like galactic highways, carrying charged particles, cosmic dust, and perhaps even the raw materials for life between star systems. This idea reframes how we think about the galaxy, not as a collection of isolated stellar islands, but as a vast living network with currents and channels binding it together. If true, Voyager may have just brushed against one of these threads, a direct connection between our solar system and the wider galaxy. And if such a network exists, it could help explain how cosmic rays travel, how stellar chemistry is shared, and how life's building blocks might spread across the universe. For now, Voyager 1 keeps moving deeper, sending back whispers of a reality more complex, more connected, and more alive than we ever imagined. One of the most intriguing theories to emerge from the data is that Voyager 1 may have sailed into the lingering remnants of a stellar death millions of years old. When massive stars explode as supernovae, they scatter their remains across light years of space, leaving behind invisible shells of magnetized plasma. Over time, these shells expand, distort, and fade into the interstellar medium, but they never truly disappear. Some researchers believe the magnetic pressure front Voyager has encountered is one such remnant, the ghostly echo of a supernova that once lit up our corner of the galaxy. If true, this would be the first time humanity has directly measured the properties of such a structure up close, shaping cosmic ray distribution, influencing star formation, and leaving behind subtle markers of ancient cosmic events. Voyager's data might not just tell us about where we are now. It could reveal the violent history of the galaxy itself. While the supernova hypothesis excites astronomers, another camp believes the cause of the magnetic front might be much closer to home. The sun's most powerful outbursts, coronal mass ejections, and solar flares don't simply vanish once they leave the inner solar system. They propagate outward like massive, invisible tsunamis of charged particles and magnetic fields. Some of these waves, from solar storms in 2014 to 2017, may have merged into a massive shock front, traveling for years before reaching Voyager's location. This would mean Voyager isn't encountering a relic of an ancient star, but rather a delayed echo of our own sun's activity. If confirmed, it would force a revision of how far the sun's influence truly extends, showing that it can reshape magnetic structures billions of miles beyond the heliosphere. The answer may lie in comparing Voyager 1's data to its twin, Voyager 2, traveling on a different trajectory. If both probes detect similar magnetic spikes, it could confirm that we are witnessing the sun's reach in action. Beyond the scientific wonder, Voyager's discovery carries practical warnings for humanity's future in deep space. The transition zones it has found, the cosmic purgatory, the magnetic highway, and now, the magnetic pressure front may be more than just curiosities. They could represent regions of intense radiation or unpredictable particle flows. When Voyager crossed into interstellar space, cosmic ray levels nearly doubled compared to inside the heliosphere. In these denser magnetic zones, radiation could spike even higher posing a severe threat to both astronauts and spacecraft. If these structures are common around star systems, future interstellar explorers will need to map them as carefully as ancient sailors charted reefs and currents. Just as importantly, these features may also offer safe corridors, 
magnetic pathways that deflect harmful radiation and make deep space travel more feasible. Voyager is teaching us that interstellar navigation will be about more than just pointing a ship at a destination. It will be about riding the hidden currents of the galaxy. Perhaps the most radical interpretation of Voyager's findings is that the magnetic pressure front is not an isolated feature at all, but part of a much larger interconnected web. Years ago, Voyager detected the magnetic highway, a direct link between the sun's magnetic field across the galaxy. If our solar system is indeed part of such a network, it changes the way we see our place in the cosmos. We wouldn't be an isolated island in space, but a node in a grand interconnected structure, a cosmic web binding the stars together. And Voyager, with its fading signal and aging systems, may be our only visitor to this network for generations to come. Voyager 1 was built in the 1970s to be a planetary explorer, a brief visitor to Jupiter and Saturn before drifting silently into the dark. But somewhere far beyond the orbit of Pluto, it became something else, our first true ambassador to the interstellar realm. And now it has crossed into a place no one predicted, a magnetic frontier that is rewriting our understanding of the galaxy. Whether this wall is the lingering ghost of a supernova, a delayed echo of our own sun's power, or part of a vast web linking the stars, one truth is undeniable. The space between stars is not empty. It is alive with hidden forces, ancient histories, and structures that may shape the future of exploration. Voyager's power will fade in the next few years, but the questions it has raised will echo for generations. What lies beyond this frontier? How many other gateways are out there waiting? And most importantly, now that we've found one, do we dare cross it? Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Please tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.